Sorry for the really poor quality. Um, I'm filming on my laptop because I just don't feel like getting my camera out and all that. Um, I realized that I haven't really made a new video for a while and I also realized today that I haven't made a story time video in quite some time so I thought that it would be fun to kind of share a story from the adventures of my life. Um, so back when I was doing the whole online dating thing and going through that fun adventure, um, I met some very interesting people as you very well know. I've shared quite a few stories in the past relating to you know, people that I've dated, dates that I've gone on that have gone really bad, um, and just things like that. This wasn't necessarily like a date. This was my first time actually meeting this person, <clears throat> and then kind of what happened after that. So I met this person, started talking to him on Plenty of Fish, and I won't use his name because I'm not here to like bash someone or make fun of this person or anything like that. Um, I no longer talk to him whatsoever, but um, I just, the things that people do with their lives are just interesting to me. And it's kind of funny to see how some people spend their lives and how they spend their money also. Um, so we were talking, um, we exchanged numbers eventually, you know, we messaged back and forth on POF, Plenty of Fish, for a while and then eventually we exchanged phone numbers and we started texting back and forth. Um, I believe we also called each other a few times and he was from the town that I lived in at the time and um, he really didn't live that far from me. So, you know, we just figured why not meet up and then we can kind of see where it goes. So he was kind of like a nerdy type of guy um, I find that I've dated quite a few of those types of people in my past. Um, my ex-husband was also kind of a nerdy gamer type of guy. Um, <clears throat> but this guy wanted to meet up and go to a comic book store. And, you know, he was quite a bit older than me. Well, not like seriously older than me because I'm 28 now. This was two years ago. And at that time, he was 34 or 35, I can't remember, either one of those ages. Um, and he wanted to go, he wanted to have our first date or first meeting be at this comic book store in the area. So um, we went, we met up at the store, and it was kind of like super awkward, which was weird because, you know, texting back and forth, we didn't really have any awkward moments like that. Um, even talking on the phone, it wasn't really super awkward or anything, so I was kind of expecting the same flow to be there when we met in person, but that's not how it happened. It was like super awkward, and I didn't really know what to say or anything like that, so... We finished up at the comic book store and then, you know, we went our separate ways. I think he had to work that night and I just went home um, and did my thing. And yeah, the next time he wanted to invite me over to have dinner and watch a movie at his house, um, which was fine with me because I knew that he lived with his parents. So I kind of trusted that a little bit more than had it been me going to his actual house so soon after meeting him for the first time, um, you know, where it would just be me and him alone, um, you know, but I still don't think it's a good idea to go meet someone at their house alone, um, even if his parents do live with him or he lives with his parents, but I just, <sighs> okay, back to the story. Um, I agreed to it. Yeah, I agreed to it. And so he picked me up from where I lived in his car and he brought me to his house and well, his parents' house. And he basically lived in the basement of his parents' house. Um, so he said, you know, that we were going to go watch a movie in his room, um, which his room was the entire basement. So like, his bedroom was a separate little room from where we were watching the movie. Um, nothing sexual happened or anything like that. Just get that straight. Um, 
when I walked down the stairs, I noticed that there was like a lot of little boxes and knickknacks on the stairs themselves. And so I thought that was a little bit odd that everything would be on the stairs like that. But then again, you know, a lot of people use their basement for storage and things like that. So I figured maybe it's not that weird. Um, so I kept walking. And as we got down into like the living area where the TV was and things like that, um, I noticed that there were huge piles of comic books and huge boxes. And sorry that the lighting just changed. Um, there was just like huge boxes that were labeled comics. And there were huge piles of comic books that were still in the plastic wrapping. Um, and then there were like little action figures and um, model cars and things like that. And so I asked him about it and he said that all of those things were his. And, um, you know, then he wanted to show me um, like some of the comics that he had in his bedroom. So he opened the door to the bedroom area and his whole room was like filled with comic books. This dude was a class A hoarder. Um, he had tons of comic books and tons and tons of like action figures and things like that. And it may have been that he's just a collector and he likes to have things that could make him some money in the future or whatever. But I, th I think that that's another level of hoarding. Um, you know, there was like this tiny little walkway in his bedroom to get to the different piles of comic books. And there was this thin little space where you could go from the doorway to like his computer desk and things like that in his bedroom. And it was just like really odd. And, um, you know, needless to say, I didn't feel comfortable staying there. You know, it was maybe, I was there maybe 15, 20 minutes before I said, you know, I just don't feel good. Um, I would like to go home. And he brought me home and, you know, we kind of messaged back and forth, but it wasn't the same. Um, I just felt like after I had seen like all of his hoarding slash collecting, it kind of just threw me off and I wasn't really comfortable being in a relationship or even pursuing a relationship with somebody who had that amount of junk, um, not only, you know, to mention the fact that he still lived with his parents and I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with living with your parents, but to be a hoarder and live in your parents' house, um, I couldn't imagine living with someone like that, you know, or dating someone like that for any long period of time, if at all. But, um, yeah, so I dated a comic book hoarder slash collector, and um, it lasted for maybe a week. <laughs> so I guess that's my story. Sorry if it's not really super exciting. Um, tell me if you would like to hear more stories from my crazy life, um, and I'd be glad to maybe share some with you. But that's all I have for right now. This video is long enough. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe, share the video, and I will see you guys again soon.